What if I told you that humanity's dream of flight began nearly 1,000 years before the Wright brothers? Think Leonardo da Vinci was the first to explore the skies. Think again. Centuries earlier, a Muslim scientist defied gravity with his daring experiments. But why is his name missing from the pages of history? Welcome to Motivasi Islam. In today's video, we'll uncover the extraordinary story of Abbas ibn Firnas, the forgotten genius from Andalusia who dared to challenge the skies. Was his story merely a myth? Or is there undeniable evidence that he paved the way for modern aviation? Let's find out. Abbas Abu Al-Qasim bin Firnas ibn Wirdas al-Takurin, or simply Abbas ibn Firnas, was a 9th century polymath from Andalusia, born in 810 CE in Ronda, Spain. He was known in the West as Armin Firman. Imagine a man who excelled in mathematics, astronomy, mechanics, and even music, a true Renaissance figure centuries before the Renaissance. But Ibn Firnas didn't stop there. His boldest legacy? He dared to dream of flight. 600 years before Leonardo da Vinci sketched his flying machines, Ibn Firnas crafted his own wings. Yes, wings. It all began in 852 CE. According to Vibrant Andalusia by Ana Ruiz, Ibn Firnas leaped from a mosque minaret in Cordoba using a large cloak stiffened with wooden rods, essentially a prototype parachute. The attempt wasn't perfect. He suffered injuries upon landing. But did he give up? Absolutely not. Fast forward to 875 CE. At the age of 65, Ibn Firnas took his experiments to the next level. Using a contraption made of silk, wood, and bird feathers, he launched himself from a cliff. This wasn't just a spectacle, it was an early study in aerodynamics. He didn't fly like a bird, but he glided, a feat unheard of at the time. His discovery? Stability is crucial for controlled landings. He later realized his design lacked a tail, something critical for balance during descent. So, was he a failure? Far from it. Ibn Firnas's pioneering concepts of lift and flight stability laid the groundwork for generations of scientists. His notes and designs were translated into Latin and studied by European scholars, influencing minds like Leonardo da Vinci. Even the Wright brothers, often hailed as the fathers of modern flight, indirectly benefited from the foundations laid by this Muslim genius. But why isn't Ibn Firnas a household name? History, as they say, is often written by the victors. His contributions remain overshadowed, yet undeniable. Did you know Ibn Firnas also designed one of the earliest water clocks, the Al-Mikata, to measure time with remarkable accuracy? Or that he constructed a planetarium, the Al-Kuba As-Samawiya, which mimicked the movements of celestial bodies? And let's not forget his advances in optics and mechanical engineering. He even created a precursor to modern calculators. Though he passed away in 887 CE, Ibn Firnas's legacy endures. A crater on the moon bears his name, as does the Ibn Firnas International Airport in Baghdad and a bridge in Cordoba. These are testaments to his indelible mark on history. Abbas Ibn Firnas teaches us a powerful lesson. Dreams demand courage, and failure is merely a stepping stone to success.
His story is proof that the Islamic Golden Age was a time of unparalleled innovation. If you found this video inspiring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's share the brilliance of Islamic history with the world. What other remarkable figures from Islamic history would you like us to explore next? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, stay inspired and keep soaring toward your dreams.